Welcome to the Eric Gavisar Show. Briefly without my camera, so it's time to do this the old-fashioned way. The Mike Young era of Virginia Tech basketball is off to a dream start after the Hokies pulled off a 67-60 win over Clemson on the road to open this college basketball season. It's so rare uh, to open a season with an ACC game. And so for Mike Young to have to do this, rebuilding a Virginia Tech program and to pull out the win, I mean, it's absolutely huge. You know, for everyone who watched the game, it's now all aboard the Nolly Trolley. Landers Nolly delivered what was certainly one of the best debuts in the history of Virginia Tech basketball, scoring a 30-piece, shooting over 50% from the field, 50% from three-point range, I mean, he did it all. Landers Nolly is certainly uh, an NBA player, and it really makes you wonder if the enterprise that is the NCAA hadn't ruled Nolly ineligible for having such a high ACT score, how things would have played out last season. But let's not live in the past. Let's focus on the future when it comes to Hokie basketball. Every Hokie, including Nolly, played within the flow of the offense that was anchored by Wabisa Beattie at point guard. Now, Beattie has always been offensively challenged, but he posted the kind of stat line tonight that makes you think he could put up some triple doubles this season. He had seven points, six assists, and eight huge rebounds. His incredible block in the final minute for me was the play of the game. That was really the defining moment for Virginia and helped the Hokies pull away in what was such a tightly contested battle. Now, Jalen Cohn is a tremendous talent. One day he is going to do a stellar job of running the Virginia Tech offense, but Mike Young was smart to play him sparingly in this one because going on the road, playing your ACC debut to begin your college career was such a dicey uh, proposition for a young point guard. But the freshman who really impressed me tonight was Naheem Aline who at one point seemed like a redshirt candidate. Of course, that was off the table once Jonathan Cabongo went down hurt, but Aline did a wonderful job of attacking the best basket uh, aggressively. You know, he knocked down shots as well. He was the only other Hokie to score in double figures with uh, 11 points. And so you have to give him a lot of credit. The same can be said too for PJ Horn. You know, his eight points and seven rebounds are really important as well. And Horn is going to be such a crucial leader for this Virginia Tech squad. So Mike Young's first win as Virginia Tech head coach also marks his 300th career win. A man who wanted this job so dearly is now coaching his dream job. Make no mistake, as big as this win is for Virginia Tech, it is still a rebuilding year for the Hokies. I mean, Buzz Williams really left the cupboard bare. But it's so nice to know that the Hokies do have a true go-to scorer with Landers Nolly. So while the future in terms of the immediacy is going to be very challenging for the Hokies this season, Mike Young is going to be an incredible coach. It already feels like a home run hire, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for Virginia Tech basketball. Thank you so much for tuning in. And please subscribe to my channel.